Hello, welcome back. Um, today um, is a very special day. Um, today is June 27th of 2019, um, the 175th anniversary of martyrdom of Joseph and Hiram Smith. So, um, I wanted to make a quick video going over section 135 just real quick. Um, not going to go in real much depth, but we're going to talk a little bit about it because I feel like it's appropriate because it is, of course, the day um, of their deaths, their martyrdoms. Um, so, as we scroll down, the first thing that's talked about is, of course, the martyrdom itself. It says, to seal the testimony of this book and the Book of Mormon, we announce the martyrdom of Joseph Smith, the prophet, and Hiram Smith, the patriarch. They were shot in Carthage jail on the 27th of June, 1844 about 5 o'clock p.m. Uh, by an armed mob painted black of from 150 to 200 persons. Um, so this, I guess, um, my thoughts on the whole martyrdom um, and those that disbelieve of the religion um, is that Joseph Smith and Hiram weren't very old, um, and they knew that as they were going to Carthage jail that they were going to die, uh, which will be read later on. Um, and I know that these men are of God, or were of God, because if they were not, they would not have gone this far for this religion. I know for a fact that me, myself, I, the things Joseph Smith went through because of what, stating what he has seen and what he has done and because he brought forth the Book of Mormon he was persecuted tarred and feathered, beaten um, and even up to being killed for it um, I know for a fact I would have just cried up and like nope I don't, this, isn't, this, this, is, this isn't real if it wasn't real I'm sure that Joseph would have done the same but because of the things that he saw and because of the the witness that he has for these things and the testimony of the Book of Mormon and of this gospel, I know that he he knew that this was real. And because of that, he was willing to even die for it. Um, and that is one of the greatest testimonies we have for the Book of Mormon and for this restored gospel. Um, and then it talks a little bit about how they died. Um, the Hiram was shot and first and fell um, exclaiming, I'm a dead man. Uh, Joseph then trying to get away from the, the, um, the people were running to the window and tried to escape, but was shot. Um, and then talks a little bit about the other people that were in there with him. John Taylor and, uh, Willard Richards, two of the 12 were only persons in the room at the time. The, uh, former was wounded in a savage manner for, with four balls but was, has since recovered, so um, I think, was it John Taylor that got shot? Um, and then I think it was Willard R Richards that, like it says, the yeah, so um, Willard Richards, through the prov prov providence of God, escaped without even a hole in his robe. So John Taylor got hit but lived, and Willard Richards did not get touched at all. And then it goes on to state, Joseph Smith, the prophet and seer of the Lord, has done more, save Jesus only, meaning Joseph Smith has done more except for Jesus Christ than any man that is lit that eh, for the salvation of men in this world than any other man that had ever lived in it. And then it goes on to kind of explain that he brought forth the Book of Mormon, brought forth the by the gifts of the, the Spirit, brought forth the Doctrine and Covenants, um, uh, what else? Uh, brought forth the fullness of the everlasting gospel, has sent that to all four corners of the earth, um, and so on and so forth. Um, and it talks about that they that both Hiram and Joseph died together, being not div divided in, in life nor death. Um, and then it talks about when Joseph went to Carthage, he stated, I am going going like a lamb to the slaughter, but I am, a, am calm as summer's morning. I have a conscience void of offense towards God and towards all men. Um, I shall die innocent, and it shall yet be said of me, he was martyred, 
murdered in cold blood. The same morning after Hiram had made made ready to go, this is a different, he's talking um, about something he read, um, which I will read. It says he read the following paragraph near the close of the tw uh, 12th uh, chapter of Ether in the Book of Mormon. Um, and he turned the leaf down, so that's how we know that he was reading it. It says, And it came to pass that I prayed unto the Lord that he would give unto the Gentiles grace, that they might have charity. And it came to pass that the Lord said unto me, If they have not charity, it mattereth not unto thee. Thou hast been faithful. Wherefore, thy garment shall be made clean. And because thou hast seen thy weakness, thou shalt be made strong, even unto the sitting down in the place which I have prepared in the mansions of my father. And now I... Bid farewell unto the Gentiles, yea, and also unto my brethren whom I love, until we shall meet before the judgment seat of Christ, where all men shall know that my garments are not spotted with your blood. The testers are now dead, and the testaments is in the force. So I really like how Hiram read this right before they were martyred. Um, he didn't know they were going to be martyred, um, but he read this, and he marked it, having a feeling that this was going to happen. And this was the testament of, of Hiram, I believe. And it says, Hiram Smith was only 44 years old, and Joseph was only 38. Um, so I believe strongly that Joseph Smith is a man of God, and that he was a prophet and seer, and was the prophet to restore the gospel back to this earth, to bring it to the fullness of to bring us the fullness of the everlasting gospel, I have gained a strong testimony of the prophet Joseph Smith. And I believe every word that he st has stated, and I follow it as closely as I can. I, uh, I'm human, so I can't, I'm not perfect. Um, and I know that nobody's perfect here. But I know as we strive and as we follow the, the gospel which Joseph Smith has restored to this earth, through the power and, and grace of God, that we can be made perfect. Um, I know that Joseph Smith and Hiram were called of God to do the things that they were meant to do and to fully um, I guess fully show their love towards this they needed to be martyred and seal their testimony with their own blood and because of that that's they they of course were um, but yeah so I just wanted to make this quick video about um, Joseph Smith and his martyrdom, and also Hiram Smith. Um, and I leave those things with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.